Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your first contact form or your second or your third contact form using the Contact Form 7 plugin. Now this plugin is really easy to use. In fact, when you install it, it even has a prefabricated contact form that you can put in onto a page. And I will show you how to also customize that form to extend it a little bit and how to create your own new form. So here we are in a WordPress dashboard. And the first thing we have to do is install the Contact Form 7 plugin. So we hover over plugins on the left and we click on add new. In the search bar, we search for Contact Form 7. This is it right here. Click on install and then activate the plugin. As you saw on the previous page, there are a lot of other contact form plugins as well. So if you prefer a different one, go ahead and use that. It's just that this tutorial video is specific to contact form seven and the, what you learn here may not be transferable to the other ones. Now that contact form seven is installed. It added a menu item called contact on the left. And if we click on contact forms underneath the contact menu, we see that one form has been created already and it gives us a short code. This is the short code we need to install this form on a page. But if we go and look at the form by clicking edit, we will see it's a very simple form and it's actually what a regular contact form looks like on most websites. The first field is your name, the second field is your email, third field is, your, is the subject, and the fourth field is the message. So this form is asking for name, email, subject, and message, which is pretty much what all contact forms on all websites ask for. So what I'm gonna do with this form is to show you how to integrate that onto a page. And what you wanna do is copy this short code, highlight it, copy it, add a new page by hovering over pages and clicking add new. We will call this page contact us and we will paste that short code right into the page and click publish. Now if we go and view this page by clicking the view link or the view page link, we will see that there's a contact form on the page. And that's how easy it is to create the contact us page if you just want to use this generic contact form. Now if we go back to the plugin or go back to that form, that we created, sorry, that was created for us when we installed the plugin, and click on edit. We're gonna look at some of the additional settings that you can set in regards to this form. So on the form tab, we have the basic form structure, and you can add other variables and other fields that I'll, I'll get into in a minute. But if we click on the mail tab, we have the settings for where the email is sent. So the first field is the to, so where the email is sent to once the form is submitted. The from field is where the email will be coming from. So when you receive the email, this is what it will say. It will say the name of the person who sent it from the website domain. It will include the subject that they entered in the, in the form. The reply to email will be the email that they entered and the body will be their name, their email, the subject line, and the message. And then it says this email was sent from the contact form on this website. So this is all set up for you already, which is very nice. But you could add in the message body, you could add anything you want. Howdy. You will be the only one who sees this. So, or whoever receives your contact form emails will be the only one who sees this. So you could have other instructions in here. Say you have an assistant that deals with the emails from your website. You could have instructions on here on what to do with emails from the contact form. Now if we go to the messages tab, these are success and error messages that are shown during the form fill out. So if the sender's message was sent successfully, Here's the message that's displayed. Your message was sent successfully, thanks. And above every field, it says when this message is shown. And so you can, you can go through these and customize them. There's quite a few, I'm not gonna read them all out loud for you because you can, you can read. So you just go in, you read what the italicized sentence is, and then you customize the message that you want when that situation occurs. Then we have the additional settings tab. 
where you can add customization code snippets and for more details see the additional settings link so the stuff you can do with additional settings is fairly limited by default but you can extend these forms in other ways for example we can add more fields so what we can do is add another field to our contact form so in this case as an example I'm gonna add a drop-down menu where people can tell us where they found our website. So first thing we're going to do is copy and paste one of these entries. Just copy this last one. We'll paste it right beneath itself and we will change the text to how did you find our website? And this is the short code that generates the text field from the, the previous example or the, the previous entry and we want to delete that and keep our cursor there and click on the drop down menu option. We're going to make it a required field. The menu name is used in the back end of the form so you don't need to change that. And the options, you can add as many as you want. I'm just going to add Google, email, a friend told me. So these are the three options I'm going to have for the drop down menu. And what you can do is allow multiple selections. In that case, it won't actually be a drop down, it'll be a box that shows all the menu items and it can select multiple by holding down the control key. I'm just going to keep it as a drop down where they can, go, they can only select one. And the first option I'm going to keep as blank and then I'm going to click on insert tag because I'm happy with those options and this will insert the tag, the short code into the form. So here's a short code. We click on save to save the changes. And we'll go back to our contact form, which is open in another tab, and refresh the page. And we should have a drop down added. And there it is. How did you find our website? With the drop down options, Google, email, a friend told me. Now you might be wondering why this is so wide. This is the Aveda theme and the Aveda theme adds that style set to make that so wide and make a more consistent look throughout all the fields. That's where all the fields are so wide. So your theme, when you input this, it may look different. If we go back to the contact form, we're not quite done yet. We've added this field, but we haven't added that variable to the mail, to the email that's generated. We need to copy the name of the field. So the name that was input in the, or on, the, on that pop-up that was auto general was menu 941. We need to copy that. Go over to the mail. And then open and closing square brackets and paste that name into those brackets. And above it, we can say something like, this is how I found your website. Now that'll be populated into the email. So this will either say email or Google or a friend told me. So by adding one of these options or all of them or as many as you want of each to your field, you can customize your form as much as you want. But when you make those form fields, you have to make sure you click on the mail tab and include those into the message body of your email or the subject line. Otherwise, that information will be lost. And that's really all there is to creating a contact form using contact form seven. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our social media feeds and check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.